and it's all it. And of course, we all know what all it is good in. It's in doing the right blacks and the right brights in the picture. Actually, this is the exact same demo now. The reference product is the same reference product, but in a small screen size as you add in the uh, first demo with now the OLED. So you see the blacks tremendously good indeed, and the peaks also in the whites were in this kind of a clip, gorgeous. So this is the string of OLED. To be honest, if I would have to say better than the 7.6, because this do, does not have the problem of halos, because it has not 128 segments, it has 4K segments. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. But, there is more. OLED is also good in motion. So you see I start to become a fan of OLED. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you can see that the sharpness in the OLED is better in the edges of the train. Not a, hu a huge amount of better, because the motion problem, if the motion problem is 100, then I would say 30% of the motion problem is down to the speed of switching the liquid crystal, which is what that one suffers from. So that's solved here. But 70% of the problem remains, which is the sample and hold, which you would be able to solve in a way with doing scanning backlight or something like that. But yeah, unfortunately, you know that, and I'll come to that, a weakness of all it, which is still there, is light. And if you scan, you, you lose light. So you will even have less light. So that's not a good, good thing. But it is a step better in motion than, than, uh, than, than ELET. Color-wise, color also there, all it has some strength, although we need still an improvement. The, m the panel, and there's no secret, the panels we're using are from LG. There are hardly any other supplier. Uh, but we need an improvement from them on red. Actually, I think they need to improve their own for their themselves because with the current red of this panel, which I think is in their first generation, they will not meet the color gamut which UHD Alliance has required to meet the premium uh, label. I will show you what I mean. The blue is okay. The green yeah. is okay. See if it's a green in color. <laughs> but Red needs an improvement. Their new, um, their new series does comply with the Ultra HD Premium standard, apparently. Yeah, they say. And so I think they have already have their update of panels yeah. in there. And that's now what we need to get from them for our... So that you will be using that yeah, in yeah, the... Okay. Uh, I did not get it in time for this demo. Okay. <laughs> and, but we all know, yeah, this is the weak point of all So I mentioned now, you see a try to motivate myself for all it, but this one, <laughs> this one will, it's easier to do a bit of more peak in an OLED than to bring that one up because I'm now discussing like OLED for the last three, four years already. Mm -hmm. And they started off with a spec of 115-nit uh, light output. They're now at 200 and they have predictions to 250, but over a period of four years doing 15-nit they have a long way to go to a thousand nit edge uh, mm. They're claiming uh, peak of 540 for the current the yes. new models. Yes. Which I know is still not a thousand, but it's... Correct, uh, but it doesn't need to, uh, to uh, for, I um, uh, understand, for uh, uh, OLED, there's a different right, yeah. uh, specification from the UAG Alliance than for, uh, than for LED. Yeah. But actually, uh, if you're talking about 500 to 1000, Human perfection, uh, perfection is uh, by logarithmic scale, so it's not that much a difference. 
Well, you can see it, but it's not that big. You can easily see it. Because if you look today, I've shown you the range of light output in our range. If I put today a 350 nit product next to our 86700 uh, nit product, mm. it's a day and a night difference. Yeah. Because it's not that picture I'm putting on, yeah. it's, it's average bright pictures, and it's a huge difference in light. But not only in light, the, the extra light that is there will result in better colors, will result in a sharper picture. Light generates everything. I do agree with what Samsung puts on their website. Uh, that light is the start of everything and is the first element in good picture quality. Mm -hmm. they, they say that because they do not do all it, uh, but I do agree. Uh, so all it will, uh, we will have have to find a good explanation on how to, to sell all it with the weakness of lighting.